Welcome back, everyone. So, I'm sorry for uh, the two-week delay here in between messages, but uh, I sadly was in the hospital for the last two weeks, so I was unable to do any recording. Um, I just I have some health issues with my fibromyalgia as well um, as seizures, so they just had me in the hospital for the past couple weeks. So, to return... I, I I was struggling a little bit um, with with a lot of different things and a lot of different confidence issues and all that through all my um, disability that I now have. I have to walk with a cane as well. Sometimes with my seizures, my speech is not always the clearest um, after a seizure. So... I was struggling to find my place and where the Lord really wanted me and needed me. And the Lord did provide me with a vision. Um, In this vision, I was in an old house that uh, I used to live in many years growing up. But this house, it was was an absolute mess, an absolute disaster. And with my OCD, I cannot handle a mess. So I just couldn't handle it. I had to get out of the house. And as I went to the back of the house, through the screen door, I could see my grandfather who's passed away. And he was sitting there by this golden house that was in construction. And my grandfather was building this house. And I wanted nothing more than to go out there and see my grandfather. I was so excited, so, so very excited so I went to find in the, in this mess, I was struggling to find my shoes. I couldn't find my shoes and I needed my shoes to go out there and see my grandfather. And then I saw my grandfather waving and I thought he was waving to say like, hello kind of thing. But then uh, the Lord spoke to me and said, your time is not yet come. Your work is not done. There are many more lives to be saved. And then with that, I realized that my grandfather was waving goodbye and the vision ended. And I I was very moved by this and it actually kind of brought me to the story of Moses in Exodus chapter 4. Um, Moses said to the Lord, O Lord, I have never been eloquent, neither in the past nor since you have spoken to your servant, and I am slow of speech and tongue, which I often am myself after my seizures. And the Lord said to him, Who gave man his mouth? Who makes him deaf or mute? Who gives him sight or makes him blind? Is it not I, the Lord, Now go, I will help you speak and will teach you what to say. But Moses said, O Lord, please send someone else to do do it. Then the Lord's anger burned against Moses, and he said, What about your brother Aaron the Levite? I know he can speak well. He is already on his way to meet you, and his heart will be glad when he sees you. You shall speak to him and put words in his mouth. I will help both of you speak and will teach you what to do. He will speak to the people for you, and it will be as if he were your mouth, and as if you were God to him. That, uh, But take it, this staff in your hand so that you can perform miraculous signs with it. So God chose to use Moses, even though Moses struggled with confidence He struggled with uh, his ability to speak. He was making any excuse he could find not to to have to do what the Lord wanted. And a lot of times we struggle with this ourselves. We struggle to, to find the words. We struggle to find the confidence to spread God's word. But God uses us and speaks through us even when we are struggling or we doubt ourselves. God is there and he will provide people around us who can support us and who can help us to be useful to the Lord. For the Lord wants nothing more than for us to speak his name and spread his gospel to the lost and to those who need it. 
And even when we struggle with confidence, God is there with us. So we just have to remember, God used Moses. Despite Moses' lack of of, uh, being able to speak well and despite Moses lacking the confidence, God used Moses in for many, many years and used him in miraculous ways and uh, just set such a good example. And now he is known as one of the fathers of, uh, of, the, of the peoples of the world and will be used in uh, Revelation as well as given that special place in, in, in God's heart there. Uh, he is one of the forefathers, and we, we need to remember his example. Uh, thanks for listening, and welcome back, everyone. Tomorrow I will be doing the uh, closing of Revelations, and uh, then I will be working on updating my testimonies, so you can all hear my testimony at some point here. So uh, thanks for listening again.